Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So New York's really been out of control when it comes to their carry laws for quite a while now. We thought we saw a light at the end of the tunnel in the NYS RPA v. Bruin case when the Supreme Court said that you can no longer use the good cause or just cause requirement and they also said that we have a right to carry. But that's not the case. There was a new law that started on September 1st, 2022 that just took everything in New York to the next level. And we thought, well, how could it get any worse than that? Well, in comes Mayor Eric Adams of New York City. Well, he took it to that next level. Let's talk about it. Now, real quick, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, check out the main sponsor of this channel. I'll have a link to them down below, and that is the USCCA. With your USCCA membership, you get things like self-defense liability insurance. You get online education. You get training and how to respond to certain situations. There's reciprocity maps and a lot more. So definitely check out the sponsor of this channel, USCCA. So here's what the mayor of New York wants to do. He wants to implement what he calls old school policing. He said that when he was uh, applying for the academy, law enforcement went out and spoke to his neighbors and tried to get a character assessment. He would like to apply that same type of thing to CCW applicants. So he wants to send law enforcement out to your neighbors to simply knock on doors and try and get a character assessment of you. Now, how could that possibly go wrong? Now, basically what you're doing is you're sending cops out to people's house. They're going to knock on the door and they're going to ask about you, their neighbor or the guy down the street, depending on how many doors they're going to knock on, right? And we don't all get along with our neighbors. A lot of us are good people. We never get in trouble. We, you know, are law-abiding citizens. We do everything the right way, but your neighbor maybe constantly blows his lawn clippings into your yard, or, you know, maybe he drops his trash all over the place or flicks cigarette butts over the wall into your yard. I mean, who knows, right? And so there could be a beef between you and your neighbors. While you are a good person, your neighbor may have a totally different opinion of you, which could completely shut down your application altogether if simply one neighbor says yeah I don't know about that guy we've had some problems he's gotten angry at me whatever they could use that as a character witness to say this guy shouldn't you know his application should be denied now try and keep in mind this is on top of everything else so they want to check your background they want to check your social media history you're gonna to have to provide years of that you're still gonna to have to provide references so they're gonna interview those references they're going to interview you I mean this is going to be a long drawn out process not only is it a long drawn out process but it's going to involve quite a bit of digging into who you are so really what they did here is they replaced just cause or good cause with good moral character so they want to make sure that you're of good moral character and the way that they're going to do that is to dig as deep as possible into your life including if he gets his way now knocking on people's doors now the other problems i have on top of the just you know outright obvious problems is the fact that your neighbors may find out now that you've applied for a permit and that might not be something that you want your neighbors to know maybe it's something you're trying to keep a secret because maybe you're feel fearful of one of your neighbors right and now they go and knock on their door and possibly let them know we don't know what the questions would be. We don't know exactly what the format would be when law enforcement would knock on the door. But still, this is something that you want to remain private. And so involving anybody else outside of those people who you specifically referenced on a sheet of paper during your application takes it too far. And so now we've violated privacy. Um, we've you know gone into your social media and again violated your privacy inspecting your first amendment and maybe taking your first amendment rights into account while you know it, seeking to grant another right which totally doesn't make sense to me if we have a right to carry in public i don't even see the need for a permit what's the permit for we have a right to carry it's not a right if you have to get a permit if you have to ask permission for it it's a privilege and so again why do you even need a permit if it's a right now you know certain places being restricted like federal buildings and stuff like that you could still do all of those things without a permit because a permit doesn't really mean anything in those places it doesn't matter if you have a permit or not you still can't carry in federal buildings and other places so you know, the whole permit to me is nothing more than a, a scam to keep you out of practicing your rights this is just another reach for new york so instead of going in the direction that they should have after the bruin decision they decided to double down and make it even harder for those people to acquire a permit and if you do acquire a permit good luck actually carrying because there's virtually nowhere that you can carry in the state so 
New York needs some pretty big lawsuits. They need those lawsuits now, and they need those lawsuits uh, to go through. We need some injunctions to stop this stuff. And, you know, I mean, if people really want to see change, it just comes down to, you know, who you, uh, who you vote for, really. I mean, I kind of saw this coming when people voted for him. It's just more of the same, really. Uh, you know, they go from one bad mayor to the next in New York City. And so hopefully maybe one day they'll get their head on straight and vote in somebody who actually believes in freedom. Until then, this is kind of what happens. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.